Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video and this will be the first one using the fancy new graphics as you can clearly see right here. And yes of course in the background this is the main centerpiece of the video, the rescue rover. Now this little thing is a very interesting and very very practical compared to most of the other mods that are on the workshop. This is not really a rescue rover so to speak. It's more of a mobile starting base. So it's literally like those little um, planetary landers, but in a rover form. So we have like massive wheels for going over giant trains, giant lights to light up areas. We have basically everything, but not much of it is on the outside. We do have an air vent to suck in air and to depressurize inside. Got solar panels on the top, so this thing does not use any kind of like external fuel, so it doesn't use uranium or anything like that. It's all purely solar powered. Although you could add a reactor on it somewhere and throw some uranium in if you need it, but it doesn't need it. So around the side here, we have the entrance. Now it's not on the other side, it's only on the left hand side of the vehicle. Well, left hand side with the cockpit at the front. And we can just quite nicely hop up on the stairs and enter in. I have had a little problem with the stairs being here because it does hit a few things on the way and sometimes breaks off but nevertheless I can look over that. So I'm going to close the door, I mean it doesn't really matter, I'm on an earth like planet, so there's oxygen everywhere, we've got like little assemblies coming around here, we've got the standard base sign telling you to like build more things which is like in every planetary lander in the game, we've got the medical bay, We've got the cargo container with some useful stuff ready inside, which comes... Basically, when you download it off the workshop, this stuff is all ready in there when you spawn it in, so it's very handy to have. Over here, we have, if I bring my HUD up, we've got some buttons so we can turn the air vents off, we can turn the refinery off, we can turn the assemblers off, and we can turn the ore detector off, because that's what it has all on here. And then through here... On, along this little unfinished catwalk, which is purely there for design. I personally would finish it off to make it more safe, but I'm just going with whatever the creator did. Closes off, and now we are in the cockpit. There's not much in here, unfortunately. You could throw a few chairs in here if you wanted to, but it does look very nice. It's very nice and very basic. So let's just hop into the chair, and this is what we get. So on our little bar down here, we have the ore detector, we have the beacon, we have the turret, we have the sliding doors which we came in, we have the lights on the front, and we have the controls for the turret. So the turret itself is sitting on the top there, which you can turn off using number 3 and turn it on, and it will just spin around and shoot automatically at any enemies nearby. However, if you have number 6, you can then manually control it to shoot where you want. So let's come out there and turn that off. We can then open and close the door from here. So that's all pretty damn good. We even have the lights, which we can turn on. And that. So let's go for a little ride, shall we? I'll go into first person first, and then we can switch to third person. So parking brakes off, and off we go. So you can see on the bottom left-hand corner the speed, it's relatively fast going forward. I know I'm on a hill, but it's still pretty impressive. If I slam the parking brakes on, it can stop relatively quickly if you're in trouble. It is quite heavy, however, so if you do stop on the hill, you will move a little bit, as you can see there. It's not quite slowing down. It's sticking around the two meters a second, so do bear that in mind. So if we go along here, let's switch to third person and see how the wheels are handling. Because this is after the updates with the new wheels, so it's very impressive. Oop, there goes the stairs, as you can see. And there goes the car. Although the seat was still there. I have no idea what actually happened there. No idea whatsoever. I think the stairs clipped on something. And then the whole car just pinged into the floor. <laughs> well, that's quite interesting. Let's just spawn in another one and pretend that never happened, shall we? So here I am back in the cockpit of the little rescue rover. And you can see there, there was a little failed attempt at me spawning in. But it does give me a good demonstration of how strong these are. As you can see there, I did clip the steps of the vehicle, which caused me to have a colossal crash. And there's just a failed loaded in rover, just so I can turn on the turrets, take control of it, and start shooting it. Now, of course, this isn't going to be like the strongest thing in the world. 
it's well, it is quite sturdy, but it's not going to stop you from any small arms going near enemy bases or whatever. So you would need to have this fairly out the way if you are going to go close to any form of danger. And I was saying before, the actual speed in itself is relatively fast. It's quite a speedy and maneuverable little thing, considering the size of it. But it does have the flaw of having that little step there. And if I clip on absolutely anything, it is going to spell the end of the rover. I personally quite like it and with the updates to the wheels it's an absolute joy to play it really is it's so cool just to be able to drive so smoothly without worrying about slipping and sliding absolutely everywhere let's see if I go over this I should remove the step nope I did remove the step but I have got myself wedged and one of the things that I forgot to mention in the other video talking about the patches if I press X it will go into like a override thing for the wheels, suspensions, and ping you up into the air. But this is kind of the problem. It's meant to be like an unsticking thing. Whoopsie, let's come back. It's meant to be an unsticking thing, but it does tend to um destroy the vehicle more. But yeah, that is the Rescue Rover, a very handy little starting base with wheels. It's in the description if you want to download it yourself. I'll be back with another Space Engineer video some point soon. Bye bye.